Hey guys, another walk with the dog. Yeah, you can take a look at him closer. Yeah, so another walk with the dog, another piece of my mind on AI. And today's topic on my mind that I wanted to share is the biggest UX or user experience problem with AI. Because industry today needs to solve a problem that AI cannot read human minds and it cannot write into human minds. And what I mean by that is that when today I come to AI and I ask it for help in a couple of sentences, it doesn't know who I am. It doesn't know my gender, it doesn't know where I am, it doesn't know the time, the weather, the place. It knows nothing about me, my context and my problem. And yet it tries to help me. And it uses general knowledge for that. And then it does a lot of mistakes because it doesn't know what I know. And it cannot read my mind. And one way to solve it is for AI to ask me to write a book about my problem. Mentioning all the details. And obviously no one does that because no one wants to write a book when they are communicating with AI. Now, the opposite is also true. When AI did help us, it somehow needs to communicate to us what it did, so that we know what it did. But that is also hard. I mean, when was the last time that you learned something? What the process looked like? Something hard. Uh, and AI is today answering in text, like, should they write a book or just a summary? I guess in that sense, they are slightly better. But what if what they did is better communicated not in text, but in something else. Okay, they maybe can draw a diagram, but probably the best experience you ever had of learning is when someone actually showed you and worked with you, and probably that someone actually had a lot of information. I mean, wearable text information is only something like 30% of communication between humans. There is body language, there is voice, intonations, and there is like sharing physical space with someone and using that space to show and teach. And this is something that I cannot do today.